Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. If you are new, my name is Natalie. I go to the University of North Texas and I am a senior. Obviously by the title, I am a accounting major. Today's video is going to be all about being an accounting major and answering all of your questions that you guys have asked me. And before we get into it, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Without further ado, we're just gonna jump right into the video. All right, so I'm gonna make this video as like fast and informative as possible. So sit down, grab some tea, grab some coffee. I have some tea in here. Like I said, I am an accounting major. Um, I am doing the BSMS program at my university. So I will be getting my bachelor's and master's all in one. So this is my last semester of undergrad and I recently just applied for graduate school. So hopefully by this fall, I will be taking my first grad classes. So that's exciting. But I'm going to go ahead and answer all the questions. So I did a YouTube community like poll and um, I just told you guys to comment all your questions on there. If you don't follow me on YouTube, I also did it, or if like you didn't see it on YouTube, I also posted it on my Instagram story. So make sure you follow me on there because whatever you don't see on YouTube, like you'll see it on Instagram. So I'll link my Instagram name here. You guys can go follow me. And that way for like future videos, you are like up to date. First question I got asked was, how was taking intermediate accounting? Is it a lot harder than financial accounting? So when I first took financial accounting, that actually was not hard for me at all. It came, it literally just clicked in my head instantly and it just made sense. And it was one of my favorite classes. It was my first accounting class and my professor was amazing. And I think that's what really made the class kind of go more smooth for me. But financial accounting was not hard for me. It, it clicked really easily for me. Now, intermediate accounting one, the material itself, it's a little bit hard. I will say for intermediate accounting, it was a lot of work. So the class itself like wasn't super hard. Um, now it did feel like it at the time, but going back, I I knew for a fact, like I know for a fact it was a lot of work. So I was always doing something for that class, whether like every day I was reading or every day I was doing some homework or like reviewing my notes or something like that but for my university they make that class hard they make intermediate accounting one hard on purpose because it's kind of like a weed out class so they want to see if you're going to put in the effort and they want to see how far you're going to put in the effort before you drop the class if that makes sense so they make it hard on purpose so show them that you can handle it show them that you are literally going to take everything and you're just you're gonna knock that class out of the park so just know that it is a lot of work there is something that you're always going to be doing for that class and um, just be prepared for that she also asked the learning process what do i do first do i read do i watch lectures do i do homework what do i do first and then she also said um when when you get stuck what do you do okay so my learning process is I always read the book first after I done after I finish reading the book I will go to the lectures and I will download the PowerPoint slides on my iPad and then I would watch the lectures and look at the PowerPoint slides and most of the time the information is already on the slide if not I will kind of star something or highlight make a little note and then move on to the next slide once I've done that then I will go on to the homework and normally that will help me on the homework and I'm good to go after that. That's my learning process. And then the fourth thing I will do is I'll go back and kind of review everything if that makes sense. So read the book, watch the lectures, look at the PowerPoint slides, do the homework and then review. That is my learning process. It's li literally like that for every class. And that just like is what works best for me. It might not work best for you. You kind of have to literally just experiment and it took me a couple semesters like I'm a senior in undergrad and I feel like now I've finally accomplished the study method kind of thing I don't know um it, it does take a while to like get the hang of it for different classes so 
that's what works best for me now when i get stuck that's a different story so when i get stuck i normally take a break from the homework or the material and then i'll come back to it later on with like a fresh set of eyes and normally i would say oh i was doing the wrong calculation or oh i was looking at the qualified dividend table instead of the marginal tax rate table or um i was just like overthinking the problem or the information so take a break put the material aside come back to it later if that doesn't work for you i recommend re reaching out to some classmates i do that don't be scared to reach out to classmates this is the time to network this is the time to um like meet new people that are in the field that you're in the field in as well so i know it can be kind of scary to reach out to people especially like online because you can't really like say hi to them face to face but you're gonna have to do it eventually and why not just start now so um reach out to your classmates there is an app called group me i don't know if a lot of people use this or not but my school does this it's called group me and basically all of the classmates are in like for that class um can talk to each other and you know say hey like i don't understand this problem can you like tell me or give me a hint on how to do it or something like that so reach out to your classmates if that doesn't work then i would like email my professor so um so if i get stuck i no rarely watch youtube videos if i get stuck that would be like my last option i feel like um just because i f it doesn't really like help me as much I don't really YouTube information as much. I might do that first before I email my professor. It really just depends. Sometimes like you can't really find the information like, or it might not make sense on the internet as much as it will like when your professor explains it to you. And go to Zoom office hours. Like you have all these resources, use them. If she also wanted to see my note taking process for my accounting classes. So it varies a little bit. For my audit and my tax class, I look at the PowerPoints and listen to the lectures and kind of take a little bit of notes here and there. For my data mining class, that class is synchronous, so I will be uh, listening to her talk while doing, like looking at the PowerPoint slides and then like about halfway through the class after talking and lecturing she will do like hands-on so we'll do like the coding class for data mining and then for my cost accounting class he normally just has all his lectures and stuff online he doesn't have powerpoint slides all he has is like practice problems so that class i've been kind of slacking a little bit but let me show you what i'm talking about with my notes i did a how i take notes on my ipad video um, I'll link that up here if you haven't seen it yet, but let me show you. Oh wait, so for example, this is my tax notebook. Here are the PowerPoint slides that she gives us. So I will highlight some things. Um, I will do like little notes at the bottom. I will underline point arrows, you know, small little things here and there. Most of the time the information is already on here and she's kind of just explaining it in depth. So while I'm watching the lecture, this is what I will do. And then um, after that, I will do like all my homework on here and like my quizzes. That way, if I ever like review the homework for an exam or something, I can go back and figure out how I solved the problem. So that's for my tax class. For my audit class, he also provides the PowerPoint slides as well. So I will do the same thing. I will listen to his lecture and while I'm listening, I will do little notes on these slides. I'll highlight, underline, um, and then for my audit class, he thankfully provides notes. So I guess these are all of his notes that he has typed out. So I will download them and print them out. So for each chapter, these are his notes and this is the like important stuff he wants us to focus on. So once I print it out, I'll go through and like highlight all the important things. So all of these are his notes, which I have never had a professor that has r typed up notes for his students. Like this is amazing. When I first saw this, I was like, wow, this is so helpful. Um, so he has this for each chapter. It's awesome. Here's chapter four. 
and then I just go in and like highlight and add any additional information. This is what I used when I would study for my audit exam and I ended up making an 88 on there. He also gave us a study guide and then I made my own like outline or exam review which is actually right here. So based off of his review I went in and made my own outline and I typed it all up. So and then for data mining that class um I literally do the same thing so like there's powerpoints that she gives us all that stuff and then for cost accounting that class is different because he doesn't have powerpoint slides or anything he just has a bunch of practice problems and his lectures are him working out the practice problems so this is for example like all of the practice problems that he gives us and that is it for cost accounting and then I just have the book so that's really it okay someone else asked hello I also go to UNT I would love advice how can I prepare for intermediate accounting one I dropped it because I was so overwhelmed and wasn't in the right headspace plus I was struggling due to class being online I feel like I didn't have a good foundation on financial accounting because when I took that class, we had to stop because of we had to stop going because of COVID. Another question she said was, which class which classes have been the hardest and why? How is cost accounting? I would love any tips. Okay, um, go mean green. So glad you go to UNT. But for intermediate accounting one, I kind of already talked about this. Just be ready to put in the work because that class is a lot of work. However, it's doable. They make that hard that class hard on purpose. So just like you're just gonna have to do it no one else is gonna take the class for you and if you feel like you know accounting really isn't for you that's probably a good time to maybe switch majors but um, if you really enjoy accounting use your resources go to the office hours reach out to your classmates um, I still have my notes and since you go to UNT I can probably send you my notes for financial accounting intermediate accounting I have intermediate accounting too I have all my notes so um, you can reach out to me I will you know we can probably work a little work that out maybe I can uh, email you my notes or something and as far as financial accounting I would maybe go back and review that information and really know that information before you probably take intermediate accounting one because um, that's like the basic accounting information that you're gonna have to know from that class and all the other classes um, my hardest classes I've taken are finance, advanced not-for-profit accounting. You guys know that class literally made me cry like every single day. Um, and that class was hard because I think it was the structure of the class that, that the professor had. I don't think it was like the best. And it was during COVID and you know, all that stuff. Finance just really didn't, it was kind of similar to accounting. There was some stuff that was, you know, the same and then it's just like the mindset and the thought process of finance really didn't make sense to me. I don't know. Um, but I did find in that class I got to be advanced not-for-profit accounting. I passed that class. And then for my third hardest class, I think would be accounting information system. Only because I feel like the whole like system thing didn't really make that much sense to me. But um, I made it through that class. I ended up getting an A and we had a huge accounting project. In that class as well so I think those are my like three hardest classes that I've taken and as far as cost accounting it's basically managerial accounting on steroids so if you already took managerial accounting you know it's all about overhead costs direct labor um, indirect labor raw materials work in process finished goods all that stuff so cost accounting is kind of like it's literally like managerial accounting just a tiny bit harder um, I'm not a big fan of cost accounting. I will say I've been I've been slacking in that class this semester um, just because like it's not my favorite. But I'm going to have to pick up the pace because I do have an exam coming in a couple days. So hope that helped. Uh, hope that helped you out. Someone else asked, "How was your first year? The type of accounting? If you're in grad school, the process you went through to get there." So my first year of accounting, like I, I'm not sure if you're asking like my first year 
as in like undergrad um but i have not done grad school yet i already filled out the application so i'm just waiting to see if i got accepted or not and then the whole process with grad school is once you apply then you have to write a paper on why you think you should be accepted in grad school and then you have to get three letters of recommendations from people and then you also have to take the GMAT which is kind of like an entrance exam I want to say but they are waiving I think the fees or they're waiving the exam due to like COVID um, but I also believe that if you have a 3.5 GPA or higher, then you don't have to take the GMAT. So I think I'm okay in that, in that sense. Um, and my first year of accounting, I would say was like hard, but like not hard at the same time. And then for the type of accounting, I am doing audit. So not that I hate tax, but like I just don't prefer tax I prefer to do audit it's more interesting to me and um, the first year of accounting like it's kind of what you expect it to be it's gonna be a lot of work and I definitely recommend networking and reaching out to all your professors your classmates tutor labs everything because that will help tremendously and then another question I got was a study routine, how you retain the information on accounting classes you are taking now, how you take notes for those classes. I'm a junior and still struggling. I kind of already answered this question, but how I retain the information is, like I said, my learning process is I read the book, listen to the lectures, look at the PowerPoint slides, do the homework, and then review everything. So going back to review the notes, like for example, for my audit class, I will go back and like read through this and just kind of make sure I understand it. And as far as the notes, I've already showed you guys that. Um, and study routine. So when I study for an exam, the first thing I do is I first see if they have a study guide or a study like review sheet. And most of the time they do, if they don't, then like you're on your own um but for example for my audit class he gave us a study that study guy that i showed you which was this and he gave us important learning objectives to focus on for each chapter so once i got that then i made my own outline review sheet so i went through and literally typed up this whole thing by myself and used the ebook. I used his notes that he gave us and I would go back through his lectures. So like once I made the outline, then I would go back to his lectures. I would rewatch all the lectures and then I would literally just read all the notes that I had and the notes that he would provide. So these are the notes that he would provide and then I would use the typed up outline that I made and that worked for me so um, it's gonna be a little bit different for each class like for example for cost accounting that's more problem based I'm gonna have to be reworking problems and learning how to actually work out the problem rather than like conception and like definition based which is what audit is because there was no math in audit um, but for cost accounting I am what I've been doing is going back through the lectures and reworking all the problems, kind of going back to the book. And um, for tax, I haven't had my first exam yet, but I would basically do the same thing for tax. I would go back, listen to all the lectures, look at the homeworks, you know, use all the resources that you have and that that should do it for you. Um, if you are, if you literally have no idea how to study for the exam, ask the professor, like, don't be scared to say, professor, like, you know, I'm really overwhelmed. I really want to do well in this class. What do you recommend me to, like, to look at to help me prepare for the exam? Literally, like, I've done that before and they will tell you. Don't be scared to do it. So that's how I study for accounting exams or any other, like, exams in general. Someone asked, I believe you are also in cost accounting. How have you been studying for quizzes and tests and what are your plans for the CPA? So like I said, for cost accounting, I 
don't really study for the quizzes because the quizzes are based off of the homework and the quizzes that we have are literally two or three questions on um, Pearson, which is my accounting lab. Um, and the quizzes are normally just based off of the homework. So if I understand the homework, I'm gonna understand the quizzes. If you don't understand the homework, I recommend making sure you understand the homework before you take the quiz. If you don't understand the homework, reach out to the professor. Like I said, look at the book. Go to zoom office hours and then for the test i also already talked about this i always go back and re-watch the lectures and for cost accounting i'm going to be working out a ton of practice problems because i know for a fact he's going to be probably putting a lot of workout problems so this is his exam one practice work that i have not done yet but i need to watch the lecture and he goes over this in the lecture so i'm going to be doing that so that's how I'm going to be studying for the cost accounting exam and then kind of using the book when necessary. And then I also have all of the previous lecture workout problems that he has given us. So this one, for example, which is activity based. No, not activity based costing. Um, it's just like the unit sales, target profit, fixed cost, variable cost, break even things like that so i will be using these to study as well so i have been slacking in cost accounting but but i'm going to fix that very soon someone also at oh and then he said what are your plans for the cpa so i will be studying for the cpa very soon i believe i start studying like in the master's program um we do have like a becker course that will help us as well and then Another question is plans after graduating. I hope to have a full-time position lined up after I graduate. Um, if not, then I will obviously be looking for one. And then I will be studying probably still for my CPA exam by, that, by then as well. And then I got another question saying, can you give a timeline of the specific classes you took or are taking for your accounting major? Yes, I'm actually pulling that up right now. So all of these are my undergrad classes. I, after high school, I went straight to a community college and did all my basics and then I transferred, that's when I transferred to the University of North Texas, so I was already um, starting in the business school, starting my undergrad classes. Um, however, I didn't declare an accounting major until, I think it was like after the first year or like year and a half that I was in, uh, the undergrad so okay so I started my first undergrad semester was fall of 2018 and I was a pre-business major so that was my first semester I took business calculus and a BCIS class which is just an introduction to computer and business after that then I went to 2019 spring that was my second semester I took Accounting Principles 1, which is 2010, that's the financial accounting. I took um, a business development class 1 and then a business development class 2. And then I took my first statistics class and then I took a Principles of Microeconomics class. Moving on to summer of 2019, I took my second accounting principles class which was managerial accounting and then i took my second bcis class basic info system my cat is meowing because she wants to go in the attic but she can't after that then we're going into 2019 of fall i took intermediate accounting one finance operations management and then economics of discrimination then going to spring 2020, I took intermediate accounting two, professional development for accounting. I took accounting information system. I took legal and ethical business. And then I took organizational behavior. Moving on to 2020 fall, I took advanced not-for-profit accounting. 
I took taxation one, I took my second statistics class, and then I took a technical writing class. And then the semester that I am in, yeah, the semester that I'm taking right now, which is 2021 spring, I am taking cost accounting, taxation two, audit, intro to data mining, and then um, for the winter semester that I took like during December through January was that marketing class. So those are all the classes I've taken. Those are, I will have one more class in the summer, which is a business uh, communications class, I think. It's a business professional speaking and writing class. So that's the last class that I'm taking for undergrad and then I start grad school hopefully in the fall. So hopefully that answers your question. And then someone asked why I chose accounting as my major and there's a lot of good reasons for that. So when I went to a community college, I had no idea what I wanted to do. I was originally going, well, I was first undecided and then I started to do criminal justice, took some classes, and then switched back, graduated with my associate's degree, then went to cosmetology school, didn't like it, and then that's when I transferred to UNT. And I knew I wanted to do some kind of business, but wasn't really sure. And then that's when I you know, started the business school and then took my first accounting class and I was like, oh, I love this, this is interesting. And then that's when I knew I wanna do accounting. Um, so I chose accounting because it was interesting to me and I really just like enjoyed it and it kind of just came natural to me. And then also like the job stability, like everyone's gonna need an accountant. Like, you know what I'm saying? And also like the variations of accounting and jobs. Like there's so many jobs you can do with accounting major. And um, I just, I love it. It's interesting to me and it really just, it's like the language of business. It's very important. So. With that being said, that's all the questions that you guys have asked. I hope that I answered it informatively and as quickly as possible. I know this video is going to be long, but my battery is now blinking, so I'm gonna have to end it here. If you have any more questions, comment down below. I can also do a part two video of this. Um, hope you guys enjoy, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys. Okay.